Hello, welcome to today's video, lesson 10.6, day one, the surface area of cones. The essential question that we're gonna be answering is written right there. How do you find the surface area of cones? Before we get to finding the surface area of cones, there's a few vocabulary words that you need to understand about the parts of a cone. The point where the cone comes together is called the vertex. So the point of the cone is the vertex. That isn't really used in our formulas. The one that's used in our formulas are the height, the radius, and the slant height. Slant height is the distance along this edge. And slant height is abbreviated with a cursive L. So that is a cursive L, L for slant height. The radius is just the radius of the circular base. And in our formulas, when we abbreviate radius, we're gonna use a lowercase r. The height is the distance from the vertex to the center of our cone. So when we find a height, I'm gonna highlight my height here in yellow, the height is going to be abbreviated with a lowercase h. We're gonna be looking at how to find both the surface area and the lateral area of a cone. Let's imagine taking a cone apart. So essentially unfolding the cone and looking at its net. Oh look, we don't have to imagine it, here it is. Right, if we unfold a cone, you're gonna get the circle for the base, and you're also gonna get this sort of sector of a circle. It's not an entire circle that makes the cone. There's this little wedge that's missing. And when we're talking about the surface area, we're gonna be looking at the circular base plus this sector piece. The sector piece here is the lateral area of the cone. So on the next slide, I'm gonna talk about the formula that we need for lateral area. Lateral area is like the sides of our cone. All right, let's go ahead and find the lateral area of a cone. Before we do that, let's learn the formula. To find the lateral area of the cone, the formula is lateral area equals pi times the radius times the slant height. So R is again the radius, and that's the radius of the circular base in your cone, and L is the slant height. Let's go ahead and draw what those look like in our picture. So when you're taking your notes, you should draw a cone similar to this one. Sketch in the radius. So my radius is from my center of my circle to the edge, so there's my R. And then my slant height, I'm outlining here in blue. The slant height is like the edge of the cone. That is abbreviated with a cursive L. All right, so here is our first example, and we're gonna practice finding the lateral area. As always, I'm gonna start by just writing down the formula. Lateral area equals pi times the radius times the slant height. Then we can sub in our numbers. This four here is our radius, and the seven is our slant height. So our lateral area is just pi times four times seven. Go ahead and multiply the two numbers together. That's 28. So our lateral area is 28 pi. Since we're looking at an area, area is always the unit squared. So we've got centimeters. For area, we need centimeters squared. And that is our final answer for lateral area. To get the surface area of a cone, we need to include the base. So our formula for the surface area of a cone is just the lateral area plus the area of the base, which is pi r squared. Right, that pi r squared is just the area of the circular base. So the area of the circle, that formula you learned earlier in 10.4, pi r squared is the area of a circle. Again, the radius is the center to the edge of the circle. And then the L, the slant height that we're gonna need for our formula is seven. All right, let's get started. So here is the same exact cone that I had in my previous example. Uh, so we already know that the lateral area, we calculated that earlier, the lateral area was equal to 28 pi. And now we want the surface area. So I'm gonna start by writing down my formula. Surface area equals lateral area plus pi r squared. Our lateral area was 28 pi. And then we add pi times the radius squared. Our radius of our circle is four, so four squared. Squaring four, that's 16. So we need 28 pi plus 16 pi. Add that together and we are at uh, 
28 plus 16 would be 44 pi. So our surface area is 44 pi centimeters squared. Again, it's an area, so we always need our units to be squared. Most of the time, we're going to want to leave our answers exact. Remember that if you did want an approximate answer, you could type 44 into your calculator and then do times the pi. There's a pi button on your calculator. Or you can use 3.14 for pi, but the pi button's a little bit more accurate. So 44 times pi would be equal to approximately, let me type that in here, 44 pi is equal to 138.2. So if we wanted an approximate answer, it'd be 138.2 square centimeters. For our last example here, we have another cone, but notice in this cone, we have something different. This uh, five centimeter mark that is actually the height of our cone. It's the distance from the vertex of our cone to the center of our circle. Okay, in order to find the lateral area, we need to take pi times r times l. But in this picture, we don't have l. L is the slant height, it's the edge. But because this is a right triangle, we can go ahead and use our Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Remember that C is always the hypotenuse. So in my picture here, the C is the L, the slant height. The A and the B, one of them's five, one of them's two. It doesn't matter which is A, which is B, just one of them's A, one of them's B. So we need five squared plus two squared equals L squared. I'm going to square those numbers. We have 25 plus four equals L squared, which means 29 is L squared. Now remember, though, we want L, not L squared. So to undo the squared, we just take a square root of both sides. So I'm gonna take my calculator and type in square root of 29. And your calculator gives you like 5.38. Let's go ahead and round to the tenths place. So 5.38 would round to uh, 5.4. So for our L, let's use 5.4. Now back to our formula. The lateral area is pi times the radius. The radius is two. And our slant height that we just figured out from Pythagorean theorem is 5.4. Now just calculate 5.4 times 2, multiply those numbers together, so 10.8, add the pi in there, and don't forget your units. We're looking at area, so it's the unit squared, centimeters squared. Now that we have lateral area, let's go back and find the surface area. The surface area is just the lateral area plus the area of the base, so plus pi r squared. We just figured out the lateral area was 10.8 pi. Then we have a plus pi times our radius of the circle is 2. So go ahead and square 2 when we have 4 pi. So we need a 10.8 pi plus a 4 pi. Um, add together the two numbers in front, and we're at a 14.8 pi. And it's still area, so we always do a unit squared centimeters squared. Again, these answers that I have here are the exact answers. If you wanted the approximate answers, you would just go to your calculator and type 10.8 times pi, or you can do 10.8 times 3.14, and that is going to give you, if we wanted approximate, about 33.9 uh, is what I just got in my calculator for its lateral area, 33.9. For the surface area, if I go ahead and type out uh, the 14.8 times my pi, 14.8 times pi would be 46.5 if we rounded to two decimals. So we have 46.5. Again, my units are still centimeters squared. So I'm going to add that up here. So just pay attention to the directions, whether it asks you to leave them in terms of pi or if it asks you to round, then you can round to the nearest tenth. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. As always, you'll have some questions to answer about this video, and then you'll have some practice problems. Bye.